Hello everybody, this is Richard Sturgles, and in this next video, I wanted to do a little bit of technique on some linear drawing at first, but then finish it off with some more abstract shapes. And I'm only interested in values, not so much the color, but the temperature of the color. So if you enjoy this video, please hit subscribe and like and share with your other artist friends and hopefully they can get something from it. And also leave a comment below because I would like to hear from you guys and, and let me know what you would want me to paint, what you would want me to demo. I would be very happy to do that for you. lighting the beard up a little bit, trying to catch it up with the rest of the face. I kind of like to equally progress my painting throughout the whole process. Softening edges once again, and just adjusting values. You know, what's lighter, what's darker? You know, what's cooler, what's warmer? What's more intense, what's more dull? Where do I want my harder, more firmer edges? Where do I want my soft to lost receding edges? And I'm also constantly drawing, all, always comparing what is next to it and you know, how it is in relationship to what's around it. Softening the beard right here. You know, it's hair, it's a soft. So I kind of want it to recede underneath. Right now, just popping in some lights in the wrinkles of his forehead. Along the nose, along the cheekbone. Starting to build up those lighter half tones in my light source. Those half tones are the most important. That's what really helps your piece have volume. I think anybody can make something look 3D, but when you can make something have volume, that's you know what you strive for. Just pushing a little bit of color in the cheek there, that's all. 
pushing a little bit of the reds. Now I'm graying down where I want the, the face and the bone structure to recede. Now here I'm starting to put on some more lights. A little bit of warm on that left side, cool on the right side. And then some more lights in those wrinkles. You know, his forehead is a bigger plane and it'll catch more light. A little bit of dappled light in some of the construction of the muscles and cartilage in the rest of the face. And back and forth, you know, back and forth. Like I said, I, I like to try to bring up the painting as a whole. So when I get done with some mid-tones or half-tones uh, the light in the light source, I like to dabble in the background a little bit, then dabble back into the beard and the hair and, and bring them all up at the same time. And here, one more pass of some final lights. And remember, these are just sketches. These are just me playing and having fun. Um, you know, right now I have a red and a green and a little bit of an orange and blue feel going off in there. So a couple of compliments. I hope you really enjoyed this and got a lot from it. 